Hi, I am Catherine. All right, so I'm here to read through your essay and I'll make some notes on it um, as I go along. So let's get started. Nowadays, many people try to build their own companies. They have more challenge mind than before because they find new experiences in their lives every day. In fact, there are a lot of important advantages of owning a business. Okay, so here's that very important thesis statement. So that's great. Okay, happy to see that. Um, nice opening sentence, that's awesome. They have more challenge mind than before. This one is a 23. I think I know what you're trying to say, but see if you can try and say it in a different way. All right, let's move down to the first body paragraph. The first advantage of owning a business is that it makes people independent. Perfect. I've got the sequential language, owning a business, that's the essay topic, and then the idea, makes people independent. That's a great topic sentence. Owners can be a boss in the company. Okay. I think here instead of a, we would want to say the. Okay. Owners can be the boss in the company. And rather than owners, let's make this one singular. Otherwise, we need to change this to companies. So that's your point one. Okay, here's support one. So what I want to read in the next sentence is, how is being a boss in your own company an advantage? So you say, they control their businesses by themselves, so they are able to make an ideal company without being told, some, told by someone. Okay. I think what you're trying to say here is that they're able to make the company that they want because nobody else is telling them what to do. And that means that they are independent. Okay, uh, So they are able to make an ideal company without being told by someone. Let's have a look at this one and see if you can rewrite that one to make the idea a bit more clear. Okay. But in terms of, of matching back up, um, it's, a, uh, it's a good sentence. Okay, Here's support two. Moreover, great, they choose the employees who have the skills that they want. Okay. So this is going to come back to uh, the advantage, right? Um, or, sorry, not the advantage, but the... Um, Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute. Um, so moreover, they choose the employees who have the skills that they want. So this needs to link back to owners can be a boss in the company. So if they're the boss, they can choose their own employees. Okay, so that matches. But what's missing here is what is the advantage of this? So what is the advantage of choosing the employees? Okay, if we go back and we look at your sentence before, you have they control the business by themselves, so they're able to make an ideal company without being told someone, told by someone, sorry. So here I can see an idea of an advantage. Okay. In the next sentence, they choose the employees who have the skills they want. Yep, yeah, that's a fact. But what's the advantage of being able to do that? Okay, so you need to add some detail here. Okay, so point two. Besides that, people who have their own companies, right, because you've chosen people, so you need plural, plural, get flexible lifestyle. Okay, not quite the right verb there. 
uh, they organize, so here's support one, they organize their schedules on their own so they can take a rest whenever they want. Great, that's an advantage. For example, bosses decide the schedules for their employees. So if suddenly an employee decides to travel anywhere, he cannot do that. But owners can travel anytime they want. All right. Uh, I think we've got some repetition going on here. So let's come back up here to the point. Um, besides that, people who have their own companies get flexible lifestyle. They organize their schedules so they can take a rest. Now you've got down here, for example, bosses can decide the schedules. So that's kind of the same as organizing. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, so that they can travel anytime they want and that's very similar to taking a rest. Okay. So in this one what I want you to do is think of another support two. Okay. What is the second support that you could say about the advantage of a flexible lifestyle? because that's what you're supporting, an advantage of a flexible lifestyle. Okay, all right, let's go on to the next page. All right, so we've got the second advantage, good, so there's that sequencing language of owning a business, yep, that's the topic of the essay, is to have self-improvement, okay, topic. So this whole paragraph needs to be about self-improvement. How can I be a better person or better in my skills if I own my own business? Okay. So then look at your, your first point. You've got those who own, those who are own, those who are own, we've got two verbs here. Those who are own a business achieve their dreams. Okay, so how is achieving your dreams self-improvement? Hmm. Self-improvement are things like, like learning something you didn't know before. Um, and when you do that, you are, you are improving yourself. Um, so achieving their dreams isn't related to self-improvement. Okay, and then what happens down in your supporting sentence is um, a lot of people dream about having their own businesses and they work hard to reach these dreams, or sorry, these goals, so they can feel happy with themselves when they achieve these purposes. Okay, this is a good sentence and it's it does say an advantage, but feeling happy with themselves isn't about self-improvement. So there's a disconnect there. For example, a chef is proud of himself and he feels very happy when he owns his own restaurant so he can decide the menu every day. So again, this and self-improvement aren't related. Furthermore, a person in his own business can make his own products. Okay, so now we've got um, somebody who owns his own business can make his own products. How is making your own products related back to self-improvement? Okay. He's able to create or improve his own products in order to get his personal satisfaction without another person giving him authorization. For instance, a chef can create or invent new dishes in his restaurant all the time and he improves his abilities. Therefore, ooh, look at that punctuation, yay! He could increase his customers at the restaurant. Okay, I think you've got some really good ideas here, but what's happening is there's coherence problems, right, because things aren't matching up. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's do some highlighting. Self-improvement is your topic. Now you've got this point about achieving dreams. Achieving dreams and self-improvement aren't related. Okay. Down here we've got, furthermore, a person can make his own products. 
making your own products is not related to self-improvement. Okay. Within, if, we, if I just look at this part, you know, there's some good coherence going on here. The problem is, is that it's not related to your topic sentence. Maybe this topic or this paragraph needs to be about building your creativity. That might be an idea that you can explore. So go back and, and look at this paragraph and see what you can do to fix it. Okay, let's move on to the third paragraph. All right, so we've got the third advantage. So there's that um, transition language. Uh, advantage of owning a business, we're back in the topic, is financial benefits. All right, so everything I read about in this paragraph needs to come back to financial benefits. Okay, so point one, owners could make more money. Great. Okay, making more money, that's a financial benefit. Yay. They increase incomes because they do not have to share profits. Okay. They increase their incomes because they do not have to share profit. Right? Okay, that's good. Yep. Besides that, a person who has a business does not need to depend on another, another to determine his salary. Okay? Yeah, that's an advantage. Good. Also, people can invest money. Who are these people? Right? Remember to come back to the topic of owning a business. So you can say business owners. can invest money. They are able to put more money in their own businesses to become big to become a bigger company than before. For example, they can buy a new store or franchise to increase their incomes. Yep, those are great. Okay, this is a really good paragraph. So you can see in this one the ideas are all related. Okay, unlike paragraph two. We've got this idea of financial benefits making money, increase incomes, right? Financial, income, money, profit, even the vocabulary is all related. Besides that, a person who has a business doesn't need to depend on another to determine his salary. They can invest money, um, buying things to increase their incomes. So look at all of this vocabulary here that all comes back to financial benefits. If we skip back to paragraph number two, let's choose a different color here. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to pick a different color. Um, we've got this idea of self-improvement, and then we've got dreams, uh, achieve these purposes, uh, proud of himself, now we've got making products, creating or improving products, um, invent new dishes all the time, improves his abilities. Okay, I think it's really only down here with this idea of improving abilities that relates back up to self-improvement. A lot of the other ideas are, they're just kind of all over the place in this paragraph. All right, let's have a look at this conclusion. Okay, in conclusion, owning businesses allow people to have several benefits. Great, thesis restatement. They can enjoy being independent, having self-improvement. Okay, we're gonna need to change that word. And getting financial benefits. Okay, and this was another one I think that, oh, no, I didn't, it wasn't used up there. Yeah, um, having self-improvement and getting financial benefits, these are both collocation problems. So you just need to choose different verbs. The parallel structure here is beautiful, well done. Not only these, not only, these need to go backwards. Not only are these unique benefits, but also, owners could enjoy other advantages of having their own companies in their daily lives. Okay. Um, it's okay as a final statement. 
Uh, one of the rules of conclusions is that you don't want to mention any new possibilities of ideas in a conclusion. Okay, because when I read this as a reader, it says they could also enjoy other advantages. And now I'm left at the end of your essay thinking, geez, I, I wonder what those are. Um, you want to end with a, a solid thought and not leave your reader um, wanting more information. So maybe just rethink this final statement. Overall, I think it's a really good essay, despite the problems you've got in that second paragraph. In terms of the grammar and vocabulary, it's, it's definitely AE, AE1 level. Um, the, co or the organization is there. You've got five out of five on that. You've got three out of three on, um, oh, wait a minute. I think I noticed something in the, oh no, you've got it. I'm looking for the uh, capitalization in your title. You've got all the indentation. Um, so you've done really well on the places where you should be doing really well. Um, the only problem is in the coherence in this paragraph here. And I think that's pretty normal, you know, like in a three pair or like a five paragraph essay with three bodies, um, there's, there's always going to be one paragraph that's, you know, a little bit messy and difficult to write at this stage. And I, I think that's perfectly normal. And uh, I think you're, you're able to write within, within the level. And uh, I think that you should be very proud of that. You've learned a lot. So I hope this is helpful and uh, look forward to seeing your second draft.